A little bit ago, I got this comment right here. As someone who constantly calls out the abilities of being able to film awesome videos with just your phone, people will sometimes try to call me out because most of the time, obviously, I'm still using like bigger cameras to record my videos. In this video, I'm gonna prove that the iPhone 15 Pro alongside the Apple Log ProRes format is fully capable of creating an awesome YouTube video review. I've got a USB-C adapter running into the phone that's handling everything, from power delivery to keep the phone and accessories charged. We've got the brand new Rode Wireless Pro plugged in so I can get awesome wireless audio without having to sync it to another microphone later. And I'm even doing HDMI out to my transmitter so I can actually see myself on the director's viewfinder the same way I do my bigger cameras. So with that out of the way, what are we actually talking about in today's video? The Soundcore Motion 300. Speaker's actually right here and I've been using it for a month and so I can actually tell you with confidence just how good or not good it actually is. I just realized I brought it in upside down. But I have a feeling there's a ton of you out there who are like me who have a basic checklist when it comes to buying a speaker. And that is, does it fit in the environments that I want to place it in? Overall, does it feel durable to survive those elements? How easy is it to set up, adjust, and actually use the thing? Of course, what is the quality of sound? And based on everything above, is it fairly priced? So let's go down that checklist, shall we? First one is what is the environments that this is made for? There are speakers that are intended to go on a shelf and kind of live out its entire life there. And while you certainly could do that with this, that's not the intended goal based on its design. This feels incredible in the hands. It's lightweight enough to where it's not cumbersome to travel around, but it's got a decent amount of weight where it makes me feel like it's a premium device made of solid materials and isn't gonna break at the first time of a simple drop or bump up against something. It's got a nice rubber kind of sh outer shell with a hard front. It's actually got two different sets of rubber feet, one across the bottom and one on the back. More on that in a few minutes. We've got an extremely durable snap-on strap right here, which can be fully removed. We've got a little bit of regress buttons across the top. And behind this very thick rubber port cover is the USB-C charging port. Based on its design, you can probably tell that this is meant for on-the-go stuff. Now, the battery inside of here is going to give you 13 hours of audio listening, and I've taken this pretty much everywhere. It's awesome just to throw in the car. I recently got a new e-bike, camera bike video coming very soon, and I love just attaching this thing to the back and going on long rides. If you're an avid camper, doing some sports activities or basically anything on the go where having some port music, then this speaker is for you. So in terms of the durability test, we've obviously talked that it's got a rubber housing and definitely a couple drops really aren't going to be the end of this, but it's also got an IPX7 water rating, which means it can be fully submerged up to one meter for 30 minutes. If you're going to a beach and you're constantly near a lot of sand and water, and of course, if you're like me and you're listening to music in the shower and water's constantly being splashed all over it, again, no problem. So in terms of durability, it tests pretty much all the tests that I would realistically put a speaker through. So now the point where most Bluetooth speakers that have failed me in the past, and that is in the setup and actual general use. I can't stress this enough. I'm not an audiophile. With audio, I just want to be able to get into a mood by listening to some good music and not have any frills or frustrations with the device that's playing that music. And I can tell you, I've had multiple people connect to this device. It it just works so seamlessly every single time. Now, my phone obviously has been connected the majority of the time, but I was just on a shoot recently and I do not like being the person in charge of DJing and having to pick what song plays in a large crowd environment and everyone judge what music's playing. So I asked some of the different models there, hey, who wants to connect to their phone? Someone volunteered, so they came over, I hit the pairing button and within 15 seconds, a song is playing out of the speakers. They can adjust volumes on their phone. We can adjust it on here, play pause. And throughout the entire shoot, at no point did I have to worry about battery. Uh, the range was incredible. We were shooting in this multi-story house and the speaker kind of mostly stayed in one spot, but I'd move it around throughout the day. She was in other rooms on polar opposite ends of the house and the range just never gave out. The sound quality never dipped. There were never any cutouts. It just seamlessly worked throughout the entire shoot day, which is exactly what I want a speaker to do. <laughs> 
Now, as I mentioned, it has a Soundcore app, and this is where you can definitely get the most out of the speaker if you want to customize things. You can go in and change different EQ profiles. There's a bass up on and off feature, which is pretty cool. It just raises and lowers the bass. But honestly, probably my favorite feature, and it technically does it with or without the app, but the app gives you kind of a cool visual, is the reason that this has two different rubber feet on it for both standing up and lying down is because depending on the orientation the speaker is in, the speakers will actually output sound in different ways. The laying down version creates a omnidirectional uh, kind of audio experience and for a lot of people we're saying sounds the best and if you change it to standing up it will reflect that in the app and it's even got a hanging mode which apparently will just give it an overall gain to everything and of course you can go in and customize the EQ for each of these different settings but again as someone who just wants to turn it on set it and forget it and get the best audio experience and that of course brings us to the audio quality so i'll be honest when i first got it out of the box i'm like really just this little thing that's supposed to sound amazing and it apparently has this high-res audio certification and it's like the first or the smallest speaker in the world to get that certification but let me tell you when i first turned it on and raised the volume on this thing and i get it this is like a branded video you may not trust me but i don't do videos unless i genuinely believe in the product and Anchor and Soundcore made an incredible sounding product. This, you can have a pretty good sized party going and just getting music off this guy and you're gonna have a great time. Like I said, for the shoot we were at, we were constantly changing rooms and although sometimes I brought this into the room that we were in, a lot of times it was out of the room and just throughout the whole house, it just gave this awesome sound experience. It was just incredibly impressive for a 30 watt uh, two speaker speaker. Bluetooth speaker. There's there's two speakers in the front. Audio technical terminology is not my forte. So we've almost gone through the entire checklist, but what about the final one? Price. And to be honest, I didn't know the price of the speaker when they first sent it to me. I kind of just was playing around with it. And before I saw the speaker, I was like, okay, let me guess what price this was. My guess was gonna be 129 and 199. Uh, yeah, this thing's less than 80 bucks. Hopefully other Soundcore Motion 300 people can back me up in the comments below because this has just been a blast to play around with. Again, thank you to Soundcore for sending this speaker out to me. Also, I'm curious, leave a comment down below Low. did you totally forget that I mentioned this entire video was shot on the iPhone 15 Pro? Did that at any point take you out of the experience of the video? Let me know down below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.